Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our video series on the DMP model. In this video, we're gonna go through key diagrams for understanding the DMP model. Let's go. So our first diagram here relates our job creation condition and wage determination equation to each other in terms of their role of determining an equilibrium uh, labor market tightness and equilibrium wage. So we see here that our job creation condition is going to be a downward sloping curve while our wage determination nation equation is going to be upward sloping and where these two curves intersect is our equilibrium condition that's it this next one is our beverage curve now the beverage curve is just a relationship between vacancies and unemployment now we see that intuitively speaking that this is uh you know the more vacancies that you have out there um the less unemployed are going to be out there because the people's likelihood of finding a job is going to be much greater. And likewise, uh, if there are less vacancies uh, out there, you're going to see more unemployed that are going to be out there. And we go and we add, uh, I don't want to say this 45 degree line, right? But this is diagonal line with a specific angle of theta here, which is our labor market tightness, that is V over U. And that's just going to tell us every point uh, where we have our equilibrium uh, labor market tightness there. So um, these are the two key diagrams that we're going to be seeing in uh, the context of DMP. We're going to be doing some comparative statics in the next video. I'll see you then. Take care.